life is strong because it depends on a harmonious existence. It is a fact that the habitat changes all the time. Also, not everyone would know what will happen in the next few minutes. So today, I would like to talk about people's different responses to dangerous situations, maybe due to their different scientific or human literacy. The doctor who first discovered the outbreak immediately reported the outbreak and took quarantine measures as soon as possible to avoid cross-infection. Since then, this medical staff has devoted themselves to the struggle to treat patients. Through the development of the epidemic, more and more doctors and nurses occupy the battle. The hardship of rescuing patients makes them sleepless all life long in the struggle of selflessness. They are the hope of patients and also the curious person in patients' heart. In this global event, every ordinary people cares about the epidemic area and do what they can do, from taking active masks like me and maintaining community levels and meeting the basic PPE requirements and so on, to a lot actively gathering and coming together. Suspected old people are far away, fearing that they are curing the possible virus and categorically cancel the New Year's Eve dinner it has already paid for the deposit. Later, I found that when the epidemic came, many people's behavior demonstrate an elegant family culture. This kind of family culture is reflected in the kindness that can think of others, the consciousness without others remaining, and the freedom to accept restraint. However, those who don't wear masks still come to the door and have contact with fever patients, think they are all right. Some people know that they have come out of the pandemic area to go to the public places regardless of the possibility of infection. Some people don't hesitate to listen to the advice but also fight against the persuade people. This kind of self restless that doesn't think about others, this kind of self-respect that refuses to restrain, exposes the lack of family education and lack of family culture. In fact, all of us are grateful to those who have historically closed their village in order to protect them from infectious diseases. It was they who sacrificed partly for the survival of most people around them. We also want to be grateful to the people who are blocked in the city. Also, we should especially be grateful to the doctors and nurses who are sticking to the epidemic area and rushing to the epidemic area. They are risking their lives to help the people in the epidemic area who are in the disaster. The doctor is a benefactor who completely treats disease and relieves the pain of patients' life. And it's also a mentor and a leader who has high human literacy to wake up the people's own immune system in the affected area. As far as I see, this suffering is bound to pass as long as we learn to reflect, learn lessons, and live in peace. Thank you.